Hello Virgo, how are you doing this week? The question we are asking this week is, are they worth it? I mean, at the end of the day, we are putting our hearts and our soul, our mind, our dreams, our energy into a situation and a person. Is it worth it? Because time is ticking and months go by. You know what I mean? Well, you could have been doing something better. I'm just kidding. No, no. But seriously though. So let's get started. Spirit guides for Virgo, please come in. The first question we are going to ask, or the first energy we're going to look at is your person's energy. We're basically going to look at what's vibing with them currently right now. There is also going to be an extended to this reading if you guys want to check it out. Um, the link is in the description box below. I'm going to lay out the same layout, but I'm going to ask a different question. I'm going to ask, would you guys actually be together or still together in 2021? Boom. So if you resonate with this reading, you can uh, check that out if you so wish to do so. But let's get that energy out. Spirit guides. Who is this person? Awaiting results. It's a new ex. It's an ex. If it's, if it's not an ex, it's it's a weird energy. If this is somebody that you're with, it's like they're waiting for you to respond to them or tell or move forward in some kind of way. I kind of pick this up in the t Virgo readings quite a lot. That's weird. But this is, could, I feel like it's an ex immediately when it came. It's the seven of pentacles. It's somebody waiting for you to respond to them. Um, I feel like they, if this is an ex, I feel like they're waiting for you to, to tell them yes or no kind of vibe. Um, or are we going to be together? Are we not going to be together? I just feel like it's an ex. I don't feel like it's a new person. Honestly, I'm sorry, Virgo. If you're like, oh, hell no. It's like, yeah, this is an ex person. Um, they may have approached you and kind of like said, look, you know what? Um, I'd really like to establish our relationship again and be with you and you might have said okay I'm going to think about it or maybe they sent you a message even and spoke to you and you haven't answered yet they are so hoping that you'll answer that's the vibe because that's the awaiting results energy this is interesting already I got the card they said both cards okay so how do they see you okay this is going to be so interesting you you let them go that's what you're making a decision the two of pentacles first of all a immediately when i saw that this is the finding balance energy you you're figuring it out you're thinking about it um the finding balance energy right now is you kind of like not saying yes or no that is the two of pentacles energy i do feel like it was in the reverse energy somewhere down the line i feel like you did let this person go you told them look this is not working for me i'm letting you go i'm ending the situation it was your energy this is their energy coming right back in again and um asking to rekindle two pentacles has come up here now you in the decision making mode that is it. Two of Pentacles is making a decision. It's about, it's an act. You haven't yet said no or yes. You're still deciding about this person. You're making a decision about them. So this is like in limbo energy right here. Like, wow, Virgo. Hard decision to make, I think. Look at that. How do they view the relationship? Good grief. Manifesting energy. There is your, your magician energy right over there. And let me tell you, they believe that you guys can create the relationship they believe that you guys can create a good future with each other that's why they came back okay the relationship energy is how they feel about it if you see a manifest energy first of all a they believe they can get this relationship back on track with you in case you're wondering they believe they can do this they got confidence as well they believe that the relationship itself you and this person moving forward can do it as well they're very confident with that especially with that manifest energy coming up there like wow i'm just saying virgo let's ask the big question now, this is the hardest question. I think there's two questions. What is the relationship based on and what are you ignoring about them? Which is where I'm going right now. What are you ignoring about them? It's one of the difficult questions I'm asking. But you know what? That's, that's me. I ask the weird questions. So let's have a look. What are you ignoring about them? <laughs> major arcana. You've got two major arcanas now. This is the reverse energy. This is the, the blossom energy. And this is basically what you are ignoring about them. So imagine... Because this is the judgment card in the reverse position. So I want to explain to you exactly what the judgment card means when it's in the re reverse position. Um, so that you can understand what it is. I think you're going to resonate with it. Why? I think that we're looking at the reason why you left them in the first place. Judgment card in the reverse position. It, it says blossom. It's about, it's about not blossoming, okay, when it's in the reverse position. Because you look, it says blossom, right? But this is about not blossoming. This is when somebody doesn't make moves. It's when somebody doesn't make decisions. They don't 
do what they meant to be doing okay so when the time comes and it's time to go okay do you want to be with me or not what do they do they don't know what to say i don't know maybe you know they, this is a maybe person okay they like i don't know i don't know are we gonna get married are we gonna have a real relationship I'm not, I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready. You see this indecisive energy is coming through here. And this, they feel like they don't know if they're doing the right thing or the wrong thing. So what do they do? They do nothing. And that's actually what you're ignoring about them now, currently. I think if you ask me, that's what broke you guys up. That feeling of them not going, I want you. I'm going to be with you. Here I am, knocking at the door. Ace of swords, you know what I mean? Ace of cups, here I am, giving my heart to you. No, undecided energy. So let's have a look and see what is this relationship based on. Sadness and isolation. Hmm. There's your three of swords energy. This is not about, you know, three of swords energy can sometimes indicate people that are cheating or all of that kind of vibes. But I'm going to tell you, no, not here. Um, whatever has happened in the past is not currently in this energy right now. This is literally about sadness and isolation. I think um, your person missed you. And that's why they're bringing themselves back into your world. They got lonely. You see what I mean? They were thinking about you. They got lonely and they... Uh, maybe they couldn't find somebody else like you. They were maybe looking and it's just like, nah, there's no one else like Virgo. Hmm. And Virgo says, of course, there's no one else like Virgo. See, I know Virgos. I know you guys. You're like, you're telling me, snap, snap, snap. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So let me tell you something. Sadness and isolation. That's why they came back. They missed you. They've been down. <laughs> um, they've been alone. Uh, they haven't been with anyone else and they're coming back in because they view this relationship as being very important to them. Wow. I'm just saying now, Virgo, what are you going to do? So this, it looks like they're begging you. I'm just, I'm just saying, just look at that. Look at this. That's how the energy was when they were not with you, like that alone energy. And it's like they're coming back in. They're like saying, please, you know, with their hands open like that, please accept me back in. Just let me step into the light again. Oh, wow, your light. You know what I mean? So let's have a look into the future. I'm actually going to be really curious to see if this is going to work out in the extended. Into 2021, will you guys actually still be with each other? Will you be with each other? That's going to be interesting energy to check. But let me see now. Wow, major, major arcana is coming out in your reading. The future is about releasing energy. It is about opening up as well i gotta tell you there's a lot of energy here that needs to be healed between you and this person it cannot just move forward as of yet that is the release energy that is the death energy it's in the reverse position look at this see things have got to be opened up things have got to be released a change has to happen before this can move forward um because the devil card the excuse me the death card is in the reverse position this is what the, what the future energy is. You know, I'm coming up here with that energy, with this energy of the judgment in the reverse energy. I feel like your person's going to kind of like repeat the same thing again. Because the death card talks about not releasing it in the right way, especially when it's in the reverse position. It's almost like refusing to let change happen. You know, refusing to let go of of the way things used to be and taking proper steps to change it you know um this energy by the way especially because it's coming up next to sadness and isolation watch out that your person doesn't carry a little bit of depression as well it does happen depression can be also one of the reasons why people don't make decisions because they just feel that energy of being so low and so down they feel like they don't know they don't have confidence in themselves especially that's what depression brings in it's like you just don't you know when you feeling really we all get depressed sometimes you know what I mean we feel really like down and insecure about ourselves and we don't know what to do and you know but this person might get into it more than what you think so this is coming in in the future as well um they may actually have to look into that to be honest this can be also what makes them stuck like this as well hmm Hmm, Virgo. And, and let me tell you something. I know something about Virgo energy. You guys, when you make a decision, you don't even have to tell anyone. Your decision is so swift and so fast. You make a decision and you manifest it to come true. And you, you like snap. You know, you're in this place where you haven't yet made a decision about this person though. So it's going to happen. That's what I know. Let's have a look at the lessons. 
Wow. This is a three again. <laughs> Look at that three and three. Excuse me, I have a little burp coming in there. The three of cups in the reverse position. This energy um, talks about things happening not in the right time. Uh, the lessons learned here, honestly, I'm just going to put this out there for some of you guys. Now that I'm looking at the Three of Swords and I see the Three of Cups in the reverse position underneath that, for some of you, your person may have done something they shouldn't have done in the past. Um, but as a, if just for a small group of you, I'm just putting it out there because it's coming up a bit obvious like that. They may have maybe got involved with another person as well, or they just do things that are inappropriate. Um, this behavior could come from actual what's happening in this card. It's this kind of like depressed feeling. So it can cause you to do something stupid sometimes. You know what I mean? But this shared the love energy in reverse energy as being the lesson. It's like things happening when they shouldn't be happening. Things not happening when they should be happening. Um, sometimes when certain things, like when the relationship is meant to move forward, like now people are going, so when are you guys going to get, get like engaged with each other? And then it's like somebody's not doing the right thing at the right time or somebody says the wrong thing at the wrong time. And uh, it's kind of like the energy of what I feel like is going on here. You know what I mean? It's like somebody's not doing the right thing at the right time. When it's supposed to be, wow, we're a couple, we're moving forward, somebody's energy does the opposite thing of what is supposed to be happening. It says share the love. You see what I mean? But it's coming up in the reverse position. When there's supposed to be like a celebration happening, when they're supposed to be like, wow, I'm in, a, I'm in a connection, I'm with this person, we are together. Somebody's doing the opposite of that. And um, that is, you know, I feel like it's coming from that blossom energy there. I feel like it's this indecisive energy that's coming up here. It's like, I really feel like you did leave this person in the past because they didn't want to move into a place that's more secure, a more committed relationship. Look at that. I saw a card that fell literally, I'm holding these two cards and so they're coming. This is your spirit guide advice. And it's the two of wands. You have a decision to make about what I just saw, which is the lover's card. Look, let me tell you one thing about this person. And I'm going to explain this one to you because a lot of people, I think, get stuck on terms and phases, phases you know, that we use in, in our modern world to describe how the world should be. And let me tell you something. The world is not always the way we think it is. We name and name things. You know what I mean? The two of ones energy is this decision that you need to make. It is a decision you need to make. It's coming up twice now. The lover's card in the reverse position is this person's energy and it is your energy. It is in the reverse position right now, which shows me that things have been out of balance with these two energies. Um, it's not exactly the way you want things to be. Um, it comes up, it's different. The lover's card for me changes depending on what's going on in the reading, but this is the energy that's coming through. You have a decision to make if you move forward with this lover's energy or you leave them behind. And like if you walk away this time, and I know Virgo, if you walk away this time from this person, there is never no going back after this. This is the one. This is it. And this person, I think they know it as well. Um, the thing is, this is soulmate energy. Yeah, don't, don't put the brakes on just yet. People must understand what soulmate is. We don't have one soulmate okay there's not that whole fantasy movie that hollywood feeds us so that we think love is this funny thing that's like oh my god we've got us my soulmate no we do have soulmates yes but there is more than one soulmate we can even have in a lifetime it depends remember what the lessons are this person needs to be i honestly feel like your person has is dealing with some kind of like um, self-esteem issues, maybe depression issues, anxiety maybe even, which makes them not do the things that they meant to do when they're supposed to do it, with the Three of Cups energy being here, with that blossom being there. And they get themselves stuck in a rut kind of energy, they don't move forward. And one thing any Virgo does not like is not moving forward. You guys have got to have constant change. I, that's what I feel for your energy a lot. It's like, I always believe if you guys can stay in, a, in one position in your work, um, like for three years, oh, you'll be burning on fire. It's like you're going to go study. You're going to go do something new. You're going to push yourselves. You're going to change jobs. You're going to get a promotion. You know, you're always doing that. And this is what you and you guys' differences are, is that this person kind of gets stuck in an energy and becomes indecisive when they're supposed to be doing what they're supposed to be doing. Guess what? They're not doing it. And you're going to have to make a long-term decision 
and final I feel like with regards to this soulmate that you have it doesn't mean that this is the only soulmate there is others out there we meet many people throughout our lifetime to become our soulmate energy so there we go Virgo if you want to check into 2021 with regards to this person what is going to be happening you can check out the link in the description box below but thank you guys so much for watching the reading I'm sending you all light and love bye